My name is Greg Rubel, and I'm the uh, director of broadcast and play-by-play -play broadcaster for BYU football and basketball on the Cougar IMG Sports Network, and I'm also employed by KSL. How did you decide to uh, pursue sports broadcasting? When I was young, I was uh, a big sports fan, but not much of an athlete. But I loved watching and listening to sports, and I loved reading about sports, and loved the trivia of sports. And uh, my dad was the public address announcer for the hockey team in the town I grew up in in Canada. So that was my first exposure maybe to the power of one's voice, the power of a microphone. And from that point on, I began to become interested in things like public speaking and drama. And, uh, and I got into choir. I, I got into all kinds of activities that put me um, in an audience or in front of an audience or in a position to uh, um, you know, speak publicly. And, and so those things got me used to, again to the whole notion now of being able to use my voice um, as something to command an audience. I got in at BYU and really from the first day I arrived there I uh, kind of involved myself in, in KBYU TV and radio and, and got right into the process of uh, you know, becoming a broadcaster. When did you discover you had a talent for it? I don't know the, that, 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 that you ever <laughs> come to the point where you go, uh, I've got this or that, you know, as, as much as you realize you're doing something you love. Um, and, and hopefully the talent part just develops. <laughs> hopefully you hopefully become better at what you love doing. And that's kind of been the case for me. Um, I don't think I'm, I'm gifted with a classical broadcaster's voice or anything. I think many others, you know, do it and do it, you know, in, 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 in a, in an amazing way and, and, and are better than I and, and uh, I, I just do it to the best of my ability. It's really just been kind of a growth process of hopefully, hope, hopefully getting better at what I do. Well, what are some of your favorite things to do with your job, at your job? The research and preparation part of every season and every game is what I really, really enjoy. You know, not, nothing beats you know the moment when the ball's kicked or the ball's tipped and you're on the air, you're going. But the lead up time to me, rather than be drudgery for me, it's something I really, really enjoy. I love the research and preparation aspect of it. All the things that go into it uh, involve a lot of reading, a lot of internet searching, um, a lot of uh, typing data into small boxes on my spotting <laughs> boards. And, 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 and again, it, it's a lot of minutiae, but it's the thing that I really uh, you know, do enjoy and helps me feel like I'm ready. I, nothing's worse than feeling you're not prepared to do the job. People ask me if I ever get nervous uh, when the game's about to start. And, and really, I haven't felt nervous in a long time just because my practice regimen is so structured that um, I, I don't feel that, that stress because I just feel like I've, I've done everything I can to give myself the best job to succeed or the best chance to succeed for those you know, four to eight hours on the air. What are some of the things that happen behind the scenes um, to prepare for a broadcast. I, I can't find myself looking down and looking up and looking down and looking up. You're going to miss action. So uh, I, I spend you know days leading up to games with memorization drills, to where I go on you know I, I go in the booth, knowing that if I see a number on the field, that it immediately triggers a name. So I, I I'm not searching on papers and rifling through stuff to find it. You've got to have things memorized. I, it really frustrates me when I hear certain broadcasters kind of chuckle off a long name. Or, or, or just kind of snicker about how difficult this certain name is to say, when in reality, it's, it's you know, to me, it's actually a matter of personal pride that there's a, a family name, um, you know, uh, that, we're, that we're talking about here that means something to somebody. If I sense that it's uh, a name that's created some discussion about how to say it properly, I'll just check with the player and, and say, you know, I've heard it said different ways. I'm saying it this way. How do you say it? Mm -hmm. And sometimes they'll go, oh, I don't care how you say it, it's fine. I'll say, but really, but like if your mom or dad were listening, how would they want me to say it? And then they go, okay, well this is kind of how we say it in our family. So that's what I would do. There's also a serious um, underpinning to it all, and that is you've got a job to do. And, and as fun as it is, and as exciting as it is, you can't lose your head, and, and you can't lose sight of your objective. Now I do get excited, and I, and, and I, and, and I do um, share emotions right along with the fans. I've got to do it in a way that still, again, keeps you know the professional edge and is still being accurate and still being you know uh, you know uh, restrained to an extent but it's a fun thing and when the team's doing well I feel it and I see it and I share it and and that's a great thing about it I, I get to have fun with my job um, you know whatever career anybody wants to, to to pursue don't be too picky off the start um, be willing to do something that might not be the perfect fit for the hope that the better fit comes along make sure it's something you really have an affection for something you really love and have a passion for um, not everybody ends up in their chosen job right off the start. I mean, nor did I. So 
don't hold out for the perfect job. Um, you know, if, if, if you get a foot in the, foot in the door, you know, in, 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 in the area you want to ultimately be in, but it's not quite the perfect fit, excel at the one you're in so that then the perfect fit, you know, will, will, will be, uh, you'll be ready for it when it comes. And I do think once you decide on that particular area though, be as versatile a, as possible, um, be as multifaceted as possible. Thank you so much for your time. You bet, my pleasure. It's good to meet you both.